In this problem, we have to prove that this limit is equal to zero, so proof. The idea here is to use the squeeze theorem. So if you just plug in zero, you end up with cosine, you end up with zero times the cosine of two over zero. And this doesn't make sense because you can't have zero on the bottom. So the squeeze theorem is the obvious choice mainly because you have this cosine function. So whenever you have a sine or a cosine, um, you should know that it's bounded or trapped between one and negative one. You can always do that no matter what. As long as, you, as long as it's sine or cosine, doesn't matter what's in here, it's always less than or equal to one and greater than or equal to negative one. So now we have to think, how can we make this expression here look like this one here? Well, it looks like we're missing an x to the fourth. So what we'll do is we'll multiply everything by x to the fourth. So negative one times x to the fourth is negative x to the fourth. Then you multiply the cosine by x to the fourth. So you get x to the fourth cosine two over x. And then you multiply the one by x to the fourth. So you just get x to the fourth. Now we're in the setup for the squeeze theorem. So intuitively, this limit here, as x approaches zero, this piece here is gonna to go to zero. This piece here is gonna to go to zero when x goes to zero. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, whatever's trapped in the middle will also go to zero. So we just have to say that mathematically. So we'll take the limit of the left-hand side, limit as x approaches zero of negative x to the fourth. And for this limit, you can just plug in zero. So you get negative zero to the fourth, so you get zero. Now we do the same thing for the right-hand side. The limit as x approaches zero of x to the fourth, that's equal to zero to the fourth, that's equal to zero. So the limit on the left is equal to zero, check. The limit on the right is equal to zero, check. So the one that's trapped in the middle must also approach zero by the squeeze theorem. So hence, the limit as x approaches zero of x to the fourth times the cosine of two over x is equal to zero by the squeeze theorem, by the squeeze theorem. It's also called the squeezing principle, the pinching theorem, and the sandwich theorem. And that's it. I hope that made sense.